This is a quick review of the new Laura Pager from Uligo. I got one of these to port my firmware to uh, a little bit before they're available in the US. Uh, this is an 868. I would typically use 915. Size-wise, it's very small, self-contained. Compared to the T-Deck Plus, it also has no protruding antenna. Instead, they can fold out and fold in. So you can easily put this in your pocket without worrying about an, like an antenna getting snagged on something. The screen is full color. It is not a touch screen, uh, but as you can see, it's it's full color. It's definitely a different shape than the T deck. I ha had to go with a smaller font and smaller graphics. If you're like me, you might want to get your reading glasses out for this one. So it does not have a touch screen like the T deck. Rather than the buttons, like what I have on the T deck touchscreen buttons. What I've had to do is move the button icons to the bottom. They align keys. So for the settings I can hit I and it will take me into the setting. It is an IPS screen that so you can see it from all directions which is pretty nice. The keyboard is really one of the strengths I think. A lot of people have trouble on the T-Deck with the keys being so close together. Now compare Comparing these two, you can tell the, the pager is way more spread out. The backlight on this keyboard is really nice. So, I mean, in, in the dark, you can really see it. One of my favorite things about the T-Deck is the trackball. And then it can click, which I, I have that, in most cases, flip in between screens. On the pager, the scroll wheel, I pretty much have working the same way. Um, and I'm still tuning this. It works best in my firmware if you're doing like one click at a time. And just like the T-Deck, if you click it, I've you know, I've got it flipping between screens. One thing that I, I'm not a huge fan of on the T-Deck is how easy it is to accidentally hit the reset button. On the pager, they've put it on the bottom. A lot harder to accidentally hit. This is the power button that you hold to turn it on. This is the boot button. And in my firmware, you tap that twice to turn it off. And this is the reset button. If you were going to flash the firmware onto it, you hold the boot button, tap the reset button. Antenna wise, I have not measured distance yet. I'm really waiting for the 915s to come in because that's more what I'm geared to be able to test distance on outside. It's got both a Wi Fi antenna and a LoRa antenna. It has GPS. And I can get a signal in the basement, so it seems to be pretty good at acquiring a signal. It does have a smaller battery than the T-Deck and I'm getting about 16 hours on one charge. My firmware encrypts all your messages and settings and everything and they are stored on an SD card. One one kind of cool thing is the ability to swap SD cards. See, so right now this T-Deck thinks it's this EU2 um, and it has no, no password. You can tell because when I unlock the screen it just comes right on. I did put a password on this one and just to show you see it, its name is pager1 and you can look the last two messages here was yyyy from the uh, root device hue message. I can take the SD card out put it into any other TDEC and that will become what this one was which is good for backups and things so I'll power this off take out the SD card. So when I power this thing on, uh, it may take it a minute to get GPS because I'm sitting here in the basement. I have put the pager's SD card in here and now as I expected it's prompted me for a password which you may have seen I typed it in as P A S S and here we are. Now this is pager one. The last message is from the root and it's got that hue message. If I look on here, in a minute uh, it should show up as pa pager one being one of its neighbors, even though the device that formerly known as pager is turned off. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now pager is back on pager
So I'm going to show you what uh, it, it looks like to actually send a message with one of these. What I'm going to do is the button there that lines up with the send is R. So I push that. I could send it individually to either of these, but I'm just going to do a broadcast instead. Send it to all of them. Okay, so I'm going to type my message. Okay, so you see it there. Um, when I'm done typing in the message, I tap the scroll bar once, and then it activates these buttons on the bottom. Uh, so I can change the priority or other things. Uh, I will go ahead and send this now. And it should be sending. So these other devices will probably get it here shortly. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, there, this one got it. Uh, I don't know if this one beeped. Oops. Yeah, that one got it too. Another thing about the uh, pager that's nice, uh, they expose all these pins on the top and some mounting holes. I've already got a version of the T-Deck that can work with this thermal camera. The pins I want to use are right on the top, so uh, I probably will make some kind of snap-on attachment. So as I said, I've got a batch of 915s of these on the way. Um, I don't think you can buy these anywhere right now, but you can pre-order them from Uligo. So uh, anyway, that's a quick overview of the pager.